Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we'll do a tutorial on Created Me a Clean Heart by Keith Green. We'll do it in the key of G. Um, yeah, and if you haven't done so, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll play a few measures and we'll break it down into parts and we'll start from an intro. So let's break that down. First, we want to hold the C chord and uh, put the pinky here on the third fret first string. Okay, we're going to play this part. Okay, so uh, C with the fifth, third, and then the first two strings together three times. So it's Okay. And then you're going to slide that pinky to the 5th fret. So we're on the 3rd, right? So we're going to do... And then back to the 3rd, and then the 2nd. Okay, so... Okay. Alright, so the next part is the D. So that part is one, three, two, three. Okay, so and then the pinky again. You're gonna hold the D sus there. So pinky on the third fret first string, and then slide to the fifth, and then into the G. Okay, so from the top. G, we're going to play two beats here. One, three, two, three, and then. Okay, so that part is second string, first fret, fourth string, second fret. And you're going to hit those two strings together, and then slide two frets, and then back to the first fret. Okay, so it's. G arpeggio is uh, 2, 4, 3, 4, 1, 3. So you're playing that G for 3 beats. Uh, and then we go into that 4th beat as the a verse. Created me. Alright, so from the top, we'll finish the chorus here. Let's go into the verse now. I'll play the first line and then we'll break it down into parts. Okay. All right. So that G that that uh, one beat before we go into the measure is is a second string, third fret. Because it means create. Okay, so that's the one measure there, G. So it's so it's a. Uh, First string three times. Okay, and into the D. Okay, so D is one, three, two. Open first string and then second string. Okay, so it's okay. 
And then what, what I like to do there is after that, you're gonna do a little hammer. So take the middle finger uh, up on the first string and then hammer it to the second fret. And then into the C. Okay, so from the top. Okay, so that C is one, three, two, and then two again with the pinky on the third fret, second string, and then first string and into the G. So from the top there, it's a... Uh... Okay, so the next part is... So it's that G, and then okay, so the six, four, and then three times the first string and the second string together, and then slide to the fifth, third, second, and into the D. Okay, the same thing. D is one, uh, three, two, three, D sus, slide to the fifth, then into the G. Twice, two beats, and... Okay, that's for three beats, and then we start over again as the beginning, from the top. back into the uh, next uh, line which is the same as the beginning okay so that's the verse so let's play the chorus okay before we go into the chorus uh, let's play that last G on the verse we played the G for uh, four beats for one measure, and then we're also going to add uh, one measure of G7 going into the co chorus. So it'll be like this. Into the chorus. So that G7 is... Okay, so it's... And then five three and then the one and two together and then the third so okay and then okay, so you're gonna play three times one two three and then the third string and okay so it's one Then we play the chorus. Okay, so that chorus, we're holding a C bar chord, uh, C major chord here. So one, three, two, twice the two strings together. You can play the, the single string as well if you want twice. So it's You're going to move that to one fret down, 
you're only gonna play this uh, first string before we go into the D. So it's. Play the D7 there. One, three, two, one. And then the pinky moves to the uh, eighth fret on the second string. And then open, and then the first string. Okay, so it's. Okay, that's the D7 there. All right, so next is the G. It's so that G is kind of hard to hold, so if you can't hold that, just hold the E minor 7 and then strum, and it'll be 2, 3, 1, 1, and then the 5th string on the 1st string, and then the E minor. Okay, so from the top. You can uh, for for measure uh, arpeggio is one three two three one three two three. All right. The next part is take not thy holy spirit from me. So it's. So that C is okay. So one, three, two, one, one, and then seven on the first fret, seventh fret. Just gonna move that one fret down and then into the D seven. Okay. So that D is okay. So. One, three, two, one, and then move that pinky, <coughs> second string to the eighth fret, and then back to the first, okay, and into the E minor. Okay, so next line is the, okay, so restore unto me is... C is the same before. One, three, two, one, and then to the uh, seventh fret, first fret, and into the D. So one, three, two, three. Okay, and that's the second string on the eighth fret, and then and then uh, first fret. I mean, and the first string. Into the G. Okay, so it's E minor seven, and then into the E minor. Okay, and from the top, that, that section again. Restore unto me. So that uh, that E minor is uh, just for four beats. Uh, one, two, three, two, three. One, three, two, three. Okay, with the bass. And this is the intro that we played. C. Okay, so it's uh, five. with the pinky on the third fret, first string. 
Slide to the fifth, second, and third, and second, into the D. Okay, so D's one, three, two, three, D sus to the uh, fifth fret slide, and then into the G. Okay, so that arpeggios one, three, two, three, and then that slide. Well, I hope that was helpful in any way. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to another video where you can follow along this whole song. So yeah, I will see you again in the next tutorial.